students welcome to another session of all fours e learning program right now in this session we are going to learn about the various applications the illustrations regarding the electric potential due to multiple charges we will take up the applications of the electric potential due to point charges right the so in the earlier session we have learned first i was telling you potential is work done per unit charge potential is a state of a body the electrical state of the body which determines the direction of flow of charge so electric potential is defined as the work done per unit charge the amount of work done in moving a unit positive charge from infinity to the point so the potential v is w by q later we learned the potential formula for the potential due to point charge due to point charge the potential is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r due to point charge and if there are n discrete charges then the total potential is the algebraic sum of all the individual potentials from i1 to i n correct so this way we are going to find the potential due to n discrete charges okay so let us take up the applications of the potential due to n charges first simple simple application let's take a simple application let's suppose there are two charges q1 and q2 there are two charges q1 and q2 right so you are asked to find the potential due to these two charges at a common point let's suppose the midpoint somewhere here let's take a simple example the distance between these two is given as d now here he is asking to find the potential at point a the potential at point a now what is the method how we have to proceed now whenever you are asked to find the total potential we know we are asked to find the resultant potential at point p now resultant potential at point p is the algebraic sum of all the individual potentials it is the algebraic sum of all the individual potentials so potential due to first charge here there are only two charges so it is nothing but potential due to first charge plus potential due to second charge you have got only two charges potential due to the first and potential due to the second so therefore now let me find the potential due to the first charge we know right potential due to any point charge is 1 by 4 pi epsilon q the charge and its respective distance so therefore potential due to the first charge v1 it's 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught the charge is q1 and the respective distance of the charge from that point you know the total distance between the charges is d this is given as midpoint so this distance is d by 2 even this distance is d by 2 so therefore so substituting the potential due to q1 at this point 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught charge q1 distance d by 2 now this 2 will go up so it, you will get it as 2 q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught d this is the potential well similarly potential due to the second charge due to this charge it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught now the charge is q2 by the formula we know the formula point charge 1 by 4 epsilon q by r right now why i why i repeatedly tell you the things again you know now as you recall the things again and again you remember the things so that is the reason why i am i am repeatedly putting the things again and again right so you should recall so that you will remember the formula right so therefore the potential due to the second one it's 1 by 4 epsilon q2 by the distance from it is d by 2 now 2 goes up so it's again 2 q2 by 4 pi epsilon naught d even and v2 right both are positive charges so since both are first individually we have considered both are positive so this is also positive even this is also positive now the total potential so the resultant potential is v1 so v1 is 2 q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught d positive it is plus similarly even v2 this is also plus so it's plus 2 q2 by 4 plus 20 so therefore the resultant potential is taking the common things 4 pi epsilon d is common 
so 2 is also common so it's 2 q1 q2 this is the answer for the potential the resultant potential due to these two charges at the midpoint so it's 2 q1 plus q2 by 4 of t correct so this way now what if these two are unlike charges well suppose if both are negative if it is this minus and this minus then the answer would have been here this is minus and this is minus here also minus minus so i would have got minus so it is plus or minus both are plus then it is plus if both are minus this is minus or let me put it like this it is plus or minus of this and plus or minus of this both plus take both plus if it is both minus fine now if both are unlike charges in the sense if if in case in case q1 is positive and q2 is negative then so the resultant potential at this point will be 1 by 4 by epsilon naught d no change right so 2 also remains q1 is positive plus q1 plus of but q2 is negative minus q2 then you get it as 4 by epsilon naught d it's q1 minus q2 correct so this way you can find the problem if q1 and q2 are unlike charges both are like both plus or both minus unlike it is like this now in this one again this is second third what if both are equal and equal and opposite unlike and equal charges like these both are equal charges plus q and this is minus q then what is the potential at the midpoint now come on q1 is plus q q2 is minus q so this is q and this is q both are equal and opposite so substituting in this we get the potential here the total potential at the point midpoint p midpoint p right from this it's 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught common 4 pi epsilon naught d common 2 is here q1 is plus q and plus of minus q so plus into minus is minus so you get it as 2 of q minus q by 4 pi epsilon naught d these two get cancelled answer is here. you know plus q minus q the combination of two equal and opposite charges i was telling you is a electric dipole two equal and opposite charges separated by a small minute distance is an electric dipole so for an electric dipole at the midpoint between them between them at the midpoint the electric potential is zero so the potential can be sum up to zero i was telling you so at the midpoint potential is zero correct so that way for two different charges like this similarly let's take an another example if let me let us increase the number of charge number of charge and the potential due to this let's take the examples like this now suppose if there are three charges on the vertices of an equilateral triangle this is q1 this is q2 and this is q3 three charges on the vertices of an equilateral triangle of side a now you are asked to find what is the potential. Suppose if he is asking to find the potential in any one of the vertex. Let's say this is ABC triangle. He is asking to find the question. What is the potential at any point either A or B or C. Then so what is the resultant potential. Resultant potential at C suppose. Again so we know the, the total potential at any point due to discrete charges. It is the algebraic sum of all the potentials. So find the potential due to each charge. Potential due to each charge. So this is nothing but potential due to charge at A. This is VA. Potential at charge at B. VB. Potential at charge at C. VC. So I am asked to find the potential at this point C. This point C. So potential at A. Charge distance. B. Charge distance. But you know potential at C. So I was telling you, you cannot define the potential of the charge at itself. At the location of the point itself. It is undefined. You cannot define it. So therefore, this is C. 
you cannot consider it so therefore potential at a and b so it's 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught potential due to a it's q1 by a potential due to b charge is q2 by a so you'll get it as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 plus q2 by a if you if he is asking to find the potential at c now suppose if he is asking to find the potential at the centroid of the triangle he is asking to find the potential right all the three are positive charges suppose then what is the potential at the centroid o now so total potential at o again potential due to a plus potential due to b plus potential due to c this is the method right so therefore then the individual potentials so formula due to each charge 1 by 4 by epsilon charge by distance we know the charges but we don't know the distance first you have to make out the distance the distance of a from this charge it is in a equal triangle the distance from vertex to centroid you know the distance from vertex to centroid is a by root 3 similarly this vertex to centroid same distance this vertex to centroid same a by root 3 a by root 3 right so therefore so the potential at point o is potential due to a it's 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught charge q1 by the distance a by root 3 plus potential well if it is positive take positive if it is negative take negative perspective right if he is giving plus take plus if it is minus take minus similarly potential due to b 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught charge at b plus or minus q2 again the distance from b a by root 3 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught charge at c plus or minus q3 by distance a by root 3. now take the common things out so 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is common and you know a by root 3 a by root 3 is also common then i remain with uh, plus or minus q1 so plus or minus q1 plus plus or minus q2 plus plus or minus q3 this is the the root 3 goes up so the potential at o is root 3 times this root 3 has come up by at the in the denominator i get 4 pi epsilon naught a then it is plus or minus q1 plus plus or minus q2 plus plus or minus q3 this is the potential due to these three charges at the center what if all the charges are equal if if right q1 is equal to q2 is equal to q3 is plus q all the th all the three charges are equal charges then what is the resultant at the origin at the center so it is root 3 in this case only all the three charges are equal what is the pot uh, result potential at the centroid so it's root 3 by well 4 pi epsilon naught a distance and the constant remain same now the charges are first one is q1 is capital q q2 is capital q q3 all the three are equal so plus q plus plus q plus plus q so finally we will get it as root 3 into q q q this is 3 capital q by 4 pi epsilon naught e this is the potential so 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught charge by distance 3 root 3 this is the resultant potential at the centroid potential at the centroid due to three charges or due to equilateral triangle right so this way you are going to find the potential right if there are three charges then the potential at the centroid is like this if there are four charges suppose let's take four charges now in this one suppose if one of the charge is unlike one of the charges unlike let's suppose all are equal but one is unlike so one is plus q plus q the other one is minus q so minus q plus q gets cancelled you will get only for you feel you uh, potential due to one charge so uh, according to the respective values you please substitute get the answer right suppose if there are four charges on the words of a square well 
one more example suppose in this one only in the, for three charges only another another example he is asking you to find the potential due to these three charges right now instead of center suppose it is asking you to find the potential at the midpoint of any side suppose now the question is find the potential at point d which is the midpoint of any side then what is the electric potential again the total potential is the algebraic sum of all the individual potentials so therefore po total potential at d is potential due to a plus potential due to b plus potential due to c first part then how to find the potential due to each charge potential due to each charge is 1 by for example q by r 1 by 4 is not charge by distance. So potential due to A, this is charge A Q1, but what is the distance? He has said it as this is the midpoint. So the side is A, then the distance of the point is A by 2. Even this is also A by 2. Right? Distance from A is A by 2, B is also A by 2. Then how about C? The distance from C, this is the distance. It is the altitude of the equilateral triangle, right? The altitude. You know, in an equilateral triangle, the altitude is root 3a by 2. You have learned in your earlier classes, in an equilateral triangle, the altitude is root 3a by 2. Then, now substitute. So, potential at D, it's 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, charge at Q1, let it be Q1. Charge at A, it is plus or minus Q1 by distance of A from the point where he is asking to find the potential. He is asking to find the potential from D. The distance of the point is A by 2. Well, plus potential due to B, right? Again, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. The charge there is plus or minus Q2. The distance of the point is A by 2. Then, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Charge due to C plus or minus Q3 by <coughs> distance of the charge to C from this point. This is the distance. It is root 3 A by 2. Well, 2 goes up here. Taking the common terms out. So, the resultant potential at D is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. LCM is A by 2. Right? So, LC A by 2 also I can take common. Sorry not LCM, A by 2 I can take common out like this, 1 by 4 is not A by 2, A by 2, A by 2, I have taken common out, then I get A by 2, I can even take this 2 up there, right, then A by 2, A by 2 common out, so it is plus or minus Q1, plus or minus Q2, plus, plus, plus or minus Q2, plus of the third one, plus or minus q3 but here it is root 3 existing there so plus or minus q3 by root 3. right so therefore you have to consider the denominator there a by 2 is common but here root 3 in extra distance so finally the answer 2 goes up 2 by 4 pi epsilon naught a bracket it's plus or minus q1 plus plus or minus q2 plus plus or minus q3 by root 3. This is the electric potential at the midpoint of any side. So, well, the distance between these two is d by a by 2, but here the distance has changed root 3 a by 2. Hence, the term root 3 has come here. Achha, what if all the charges are equal? If q1 is equal to q2 is equal to q3 is equal to all equal to plus q. Then the potential at D, well 2 by 4 pi epsilon naught A remains common, then it is plus Q, plus plus Q and this is also plus Q by root 3, right, even Q you can take common out. So potential at D is 2 Q by 4 pi epsilon naught A. Here Q, Q has come out 1 plus 1, 2 plus this Q has come out 1 by root. So this is the potential. If all the charts are equal, three identical charts are the words of equilateral triangle of side A, then the potential at the midpoint of any side, this is the form. 
okay now similarly suppose now in this one only in the same case suppose there are three charges i was giving you this is q1 this is q2 q3 three i am asking to find the potential here had these two charges at a and b these two being equal and opposite so this is plus this is minus well this is plus then what would be the potential you see for due to this positive charge plus q the distance is a by 2 so due to this the potential would have been k coulomb constant q by a by 2 plus but due to this it's k into minus q by a by 2 both are equal and opposite here the potential is here. you know these two form a dipole these two form a dipole equal and opposite charges so we have just now proved for an equal and opposite charges that the midpoint the potential is zero so for a dipole the potential is zero so therefore potential due to this and potential due to this get cancelled so we need to find only the potential due to this so finally the potential at d va plus vb plus vc actually actually it is va plus vb plus vc but va and vb both are equal charges equal distance and unlike so they get cancelled so only potential due to c potential due to c is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught the charge at C that is Q3 by distance from it that is root 3 A by 2. So this will be the charge. Right? The charge at C Q3 by root 3 distance altitude root 3 A by 2. So these are the things, these are the cases he is going to ask you. Same with equal triangle the various possible things I am telling you. Similarly let us take the various possible uh, cases if there are four charges on the words of a square there are four charges on the words of a square like this. then four charges like this let them be q1 q2 q3 and q4 right at the four points a b c d four points a b c d this is a square of side a suppose and is asking you to find the potential at the center. What is the electric potential at the center of a square due to all these four charges? Again, we know the resultant potential at any point is the sum, algebraic sum of all the individual potentials. Right? First, you have to find the individual potential due to these charges. Then the resultant potential add up there. Now, how do you find the individual potential? We know the potential due to any charge is 1 by 4 of dot charge by distance. So therefore, first, potential due to the charge at A, the charge is Q1, the distance is this. You know, this side is A and this side is A. If I join this, this is the diagonal of the square. By applying Pythagoras theorem, if this is A, this is A, the length of the diagonal you will get it as root 2A. Because it is root of A square plus A square, it is root 2 of A. 2A square. Right, a square plus a square, 2a square, root of it, root 2 into a. Well, root 2 into a. But I want the distance from the vertex to the midpoint. Half of this. So, it comes out to be a by root 2. a by root 2. Even this is also a by root 2. So, even if I take this diagonal, even this distance is a by root 2. Even this is also a by root 2. Now, come on. So, therefore, potential due to the charge at a. So, it's 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Charge at A, it's Q1. If it is plus, take it plus. If it is minus, take minus. By the distance, A by root 2. Well, root 2 will go up. So, it's root 2 plus or minus Q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught A. Similarly, potential due to charge at B. Same, for 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Charge at B is Q2 plus or minus Q2 by distance. It's A by root 2. Well, root 2 again goes up. Root 2 like this. Similarly, potential at C. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. C. Charge is Q3. So, it's plus or minus Q3 by A by root 2. And the potential at D. Potential due to the charge at D. 
it's plus or minus q4 a to d it is q4 by a by root right so this is a by root now the resultant potential you know total potential is the algebraic sum of all the individual potentials so add up algebraically so potential resultant potential is va plus vb plus vc plus vd so the resultant potential is va so it is root 2 of plus or minus q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught a plus root 2 vb same we have root 2 of plus or minus q2 by 4 pi epsilon naught a right 4 pi epsilon naught a plus root 2 of plus or minus q3 by 4 pi epsilon naught a plus root 2 of plus or minus q4 by 4 pi epsilon naught a let me take the common terms out there so potential resultant potential is lcm is 4 pi epsilon naught a even root 2 is common in the numerator so i get plus r minus q1 plus plus r minus q2 plus plus r minus q3 plus plus r minus q4 so this will be the electric potential due to the charges electric potential due to the four charges Achha, what if all the charges are equal all are equal capital q is q1 equal to q2 equal to q3 equal to q4 plus q plus or minus uh -huh. so the resultant potential is lcm remains same 4 pi epsilon a root 2 is also common so this is plus q plus q plus q plus q so it is 4 plus or minus capital if it is plus take it plus if it is minus take it minus if all the charges are equal this all like charges plus q right now suppose if alternatively positive and negative that is q1 is plus q2 minus q3 is plus q4 minus so in this q1 and q3 are positive q4 q2 q4 are negative if q1 is equal to q2 is plus q another case q3 and q4 are minus q then in this one if i substitute so the resultant potential is root 2 times by 4 pi epsilon naught a this is plus q minus q q2 is minus q1 and q2 positive plus q3 q4 minus they all get cancelled answer becomes zero. if two are positive two are negative any two these two positive these two negative or alternate positive alternate negative then the total potential will be zero. correct so this way if alternate charges are positive or any two are positive any two are negative net potential in the center will be zero but if all are like charges then the resultant potential is root 2 of 4q right plus or minus by 4 pi epsilon naught a very beautiful problem you have to remember the thing there very good question so from this what do you understand earlier for three charges also we have taken three equal charges on the words of equal triangle we got it as 3 plus or minus q by 4 pi epsilon naught the distance was a by root 3 so i took root 3 out this was the potential for a center of the triangle this is center of the square so 4 pi epsilon naught a 4 pi epsilon naught a common number if there are three charges it is 3 q if there are four charges 4 q so if there are n charges on the vertices of a, a n sided polygon then potential due to n charges 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught it is n plus or minus q identical charges by the respective distance from the vertex to center right if there are n charges there is 1 by 4 pi epsilon n number of charges when there are three charges 3 plus or minus q by the respective distance was a by root 3 so root 3 came off when there are four charges 4 q by distance is a by root 2 so 4 q by a by root 2 has come off if there are 5 charges, then 5q by that distance from the vertex, 6, so on and so forth. So, for n charges, n charges of the vertices of a, on a vertices of a polygon, vertices of a polygon, then the potential at the center, right? Thank you.